Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that just as I finished recording this video, the uh, balance patch came out and dwarfs took a massive hit. And uh, there are a couple other changes. Um, we don't have full patch notes yet, but the people on Reddit are posting a lot of changes, all of which have been very enjoyable so far. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that in this video, uh, dwarfs will not have been uh, patched yet, nerfed yet. <laughs> So I guess this is like a final goodbye to the dwarves. Uh, hopefully they aren't completely unplayable now. I mean, that's it's always a shame when that happens, but uh, they're not. It I think it's pretty obvious that they're not going to be as freaking overpowered as they are now. Or were now in the video that you're going to watch. So final goodbye to overtuned dwarves and we are hereby welcoming in a new era where dwarfs are hopefully still a very viable deck but not every single matchup i play enjoy the video guys i had a lot of fun with this one i hope you do too thank you so much for clicking it like and subscribe all that good stuff and uh, yeah roll the intro Welcome, Chosen One. Welcome, Chosen Ones, to the Ace of Plays channel once again. It is another video. Can you believe it? I cannot. But it's happening right in front of my eyes. I'm seeing this unfold before you are. Anyway, we're playing Vampires today. Uh, this is a deck that I discovered a great affection for last season. Uh, but it was still lacking a little bit and uh, with Iron Judgment this was one of the decks one of the first decks I wanted to try tried out a little bit didn't quite work out I don't know if it's gonna go any better today but I did really want to play vampires uh, partly because I was uh, browsing went up yesterday and I saw that insomnia 228 whom longtime viewers will know that uh, I'm a big fan of uh, had posted a few new decks, uh, one of which was Vampires, and this deck that I'll be playing today is kind of a mixture of Insomnia's deck and my own deck that I was working on. Uh, I mean, it's it's a Vampire Tribal deck, so most of the cards are, you know, they speak for themselves, so it's not like anyone can take credit. Uh, but this is not a straight net deck, this does have some elements of the deck that I was trying out. Uh, so it, it, it's just a, a vampire tribal deck you know, with Katakan, Oriana, uh, Proto Flutter. In some I didn't run this, maybe because of all the armor. This ability does kind of weaken a little bit, but 3 damage is very good. And this is potentially a 10 for 9, which does 3 damage, which is very good. Uh, Osril, because we have Goliath, we have Igharn, uh, who of course we will consume with Weavess Incantation, hopefully. This is kind of the new Dandelion Poet. Uh, I don't know why this, this card did not see any changes and Dandelion was not nerfed, but all of a sudden everybody's playing this. And I think I think the main reason is Igarn, because this is such a huge point card, but it's risky to play it from hand, so you know it's it's worth it to be able to consume it, get that power risk-free. And and cycle your deck. And it has the same synergy with Nagofar as Dandelion Poet did. Got the cave troll uh, to defend our vampires. We do have some important engines that we don't want to get targeted, uh, and it's a fairly big body, seven strength, so it's like an emergency Oswald target. Uh, usually, I imagine we'll get one of these two anyway, but it's always nice to have emergencies. Uh, Gale, which is one of my favorite vampire cards, but I I'm really bad at playing it, but I want to get like a really good Gale. Parasite for control. Necorat, a really good engine when it comes to applying bleeding, which of course helps with our other engine, Garcane, which boosts up by one if there's a bleeding enemy. Uh, a couple of low, low vampires that get really good value for their provisions. This one has Thrive and gives two bleeding. This is just, the first one is six for four. The second one, if we get bonded, it's eight for four and it's the bleeding and it's, it's just all good. Good shit. Andrea Larva is just 
I think it's just a card that proved to be really strong in Monsters. And I can see why. Two Thrive Engines uh, that have two armor each. Yeah, that's good. So, yeah. Uh, Insomnia ran Igni. I'm gonna stick with Heat Wave, which is kind of the old school way. Uh, I don't know which one would be better. I guess for single target removal, this is better, but Igni can, of course, line up things, so it's it's, it's like a give or take thing. But, I mean, that, that's the deck, that's the vampire deck. We're just gonna play a bunch of vampires. I do really like this deck, and I, I hope that it is somewhat playable, because it's probably one of my favorite monster archetypes and it's it's just like it's so different from normal monsters you know it's always big monsters and swarm monsters this is just vampires and it's actually a really cool archetype like just in the game in general this is ranked pretty highly for me so we're gonna go play a few games with this hopefully we'll have some success um, I wouldn't imagine I need that many spritzes of good luck but I'm gonna go with two, just because of how little luck I've had with similar decks so far. There we go. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. This started as a joke, this spray bottle, this Ace of Blades Gamer Girl bathwater. But it is legitimately refreshing and it feels great every time I use it, so get yourself one of those. If I ever start doing merch, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell these. With like some cool brand and some shit out, ah, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. As if I'm ever gonna get to a point where I can sell merch. Um, but I am gonna get to a point where we're gonna play some matches. Because I probably talk for five minutes, again, even though I consciously try to avoid it every single video. Let's just go. I can't shut up. I just love talking to you guys. Wholesome makes it okay. I guess I should also. Sell like water bottles, like Ace of Place water bottles. This happens every single day. First game, Mystic Echo. In worst cases, the first four games are Mystic Echo. But you know what? I have faith. And uh, I don't think we want two of those, but uh, this is pretty nice. Ooh. Oh, and we have Edgar. Like, we, we got the thing. We got the thing. This is big. We can bleed these dwarves. I mean, we'll be doing a lot of bleeding, you know. You know what I'm saying? But uh, if we can bleed them and just go into a short round with this shit, ah, this shit. <sighs> like at least bleeding goes through armor, right? So if I keep doing this, I will be able to kill these rowdy dwarves. There we go. That, that's okay. I'm just gonna set up this second bleed, so both of these dwarves might be dealt with. If he has more, we got Braxa. That uh, takes away the bleeding, huh? Well. It's gonna be such a good tactical advantage for him, though. Okay. Uh. Mm. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay, so we have we have this. This is gonna be fifteen points. I'm gonna do this and I'm going to do this. So it's gonna die like one turn before he gets his final ping. The value is sick. And there's another one. Let's just get some cheap value. Like I said, 15 points. 17 with if both of these survive. That's pretty good. 
we can catch up in one card. That's like the power of monsters. That's why I love monsters, because you can play slow shit. You can get slightly wrecked, and then you can just catch up right away. Okay, one of them's gone. This one has only one ping left. Uh, do we do it right now? No, I think we just Goliath, right? Sadly, we don't have more bleeding on the board, but... We are safe from a pass, right? He's just going for it. Like These dwarf players, they never quit. Do we commit Osril in this round? Do we commit this? Okay, okay, so... 17. I'll put us up to like 33. Uh, he's gonna keep pinging us down. Oh wait, he only has those. So he can't get us further than 31. So I can take it with one card after that. This can be like 79. Uh, you want the Purify for his Defender once that comes down, but... Uh, bleeding 4. It's not going to matter. We're not going to get more than 3, so we'll just do that. Oh, and the 2 extra points from the Thrive. Okay. So we're still good. We're still good. I don't know if I want to commit Osrul. Because it's a 14-point play, which would be very nice to have later, when these dwarves start going insane. How oh, dwarves. He just, he won't quit. Okay, so we're going to get one here, one here. And it's gonna go for one more turn, so let's say that's four. Twenty seven hundred and twenty-three. So that's seventeen. And we could potentially get it with something fairly low committal. What do we draw? That is very good. Uh, I'm going to try to scare him a little bit. I don't think we're going to get that much bleed value later. I, th I think we're going for the uh, the other type of bleeding. This is insane. Right now, we take it with Heat Wave. Right now. This is so intense. Like, these dwarf players never quit. That's like the worst part of it, in my opinion. You know, besides running into them all the time, they never quit. Never. They keep pushing and they're <laughs> never punished. <sighs> Alright, we got two more points coming in here. And that's 11, that's 13, that's not enough. We have to play Osrol and get his last card out of him. If I just play Osrol, that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, which is not enough. At this point, do I just... No, he's no. I can't. I can't quit. Oh my god. <laughs> I I am legit scared now. Oh, I just 
didn't want to commit these cards. Uh, is he going to pass or is he going to go for the 2 0? -oh? I mean, he. I think he's going to pass. He, he's going to pass. Okay. I know, I know I said that, but I was not very certain. This... <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's got his thing, but uh, I got my things. Mm -hmm. Okay, defender is good. Um, at this point, bleeding is good. Naglefar would be great. This would be great. Parasite would be great. Feast of Blood is not great. Parasite is okay. Oh my god. <sighs> Guys, I'm... Your boy's not doing well right now. Oh, the dwarves. Every day. That's fine. Ah. Huh. Well, fuck you. <laughs> we got him. We didn't got him. We, oh, we're such in trouble. We gotta get this done fast. This might save our lives though. I, I gotta say. This this may save our life here. I'm I'm like my whole body is like super tense. Wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That poor cave troll. My boy. My boy, no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Um... Okay, we... we... I think we should get started with this now, so it gets very big before he can start pinging it, which is going to be next turn. Uh, we only have this... Oh, but we have two bleeds. We have two bleeds. So, we do this. And this. Should have maybe taken the Berserker, but I honestly don't care that much. Oh god. Okay, we're going to Gale. We're going to Gale one of them. My body is so filled with tension that it is actually physically exhausting to sit here. And we're behind. We are behind. Alright, that's the heat wave. That poor cape troll. Holy shit. And he's going for it. He is going for it. Uh, I should wait a turn so I can get an extra point on this. Because like I'm losing points here anyway, but I think waiting a turn is better. It's like, even that! And I have no chance in hell.
Even more dwarves. Okay. You have some points. Ping your last ping, brother. All right, he needs 10 points. Okay, he's getting one. He needs nine points. If it's a dwarf, he's getting two more. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Vampire tribal, one-pointed dwarf tribal. And the game is not moving. Is it so hard for the game's code to comprehend what just happened? This brilliant victory? Fail to display rewards in the match summary. Note that your progress and rewards have still been added. That's new. But... As long as my progress and my win was still rewarded and recorded, that's great. Besides, I have video evidence, so don't try to cheat me on this win. Man, I'm I'm riding on a high right now. We got to do a second game and uh, <laughs> get wrecked by Hyperthen. As always. Let's have a drink together before the next game. Cheers, friends. Hope you enjoyed that last match. I oh I did oh. I don't know if my body's ready for this. <laughs> like honestly. Um I mean Feast of Blood is actually very good against uh, mercenaries, but he's not gonna play those round ones, so I'd rather is this hand just too good? He's even got the brewer skin. Come on, dude. Don't don't do the brewer skin, man. I can almost nagle far, but if I get shown these two, that is very bad. So I think we're just going to start off very simple with a Bruxa. Bruxa. Easy. Did it just freeze? I don't know what's going on. It's been really freezy today. Hope my computer is gonna survive. Um, I think we're gonna apply bleed here. Because that will enable. Uh, what's his face? Next turn. Let's be cool. I don't care. They're not gonna kill him. And if they do. That's fine. Damn it! It's almost as if it was painfully obvious what I was trying to do. What a shame. What a shame indeed. If I can just enable Gale, then I'm safe. That's all I have to do. Uh, I can do this and just enable a one point Gale. Uh, 
yes, a one point gale. Forget the fact that it's going to be closer to like nine points. It's a one point gale. Where's he three base strength? Nice four. Really cool art too. Two. A really cool art too. Wait, you think you're achieving something here, bitch? Check it out. Well, problem solved, I guess. Um. Which one do I want later? Or do I play them both now? I, You know what? Something tells me I'm going to have to play them both now. Because dwarves never quit. And neither do vampires. That's the lesson of today, guys. Don't quit. Never give up. So you're playing against dwarves. You can beat them. I have faith in you. Now, I know. I'm not Trinet. I'm not Sir Pumpkin. But my faith in you is still just as valid. If not more. Because of my beard. Because beard contains faith. <laughs> anyway... He just committed oak. Like, freaking dwarves players, they always commit great oak in round one, and it's perfectly fine. And that, that's not okay. You know what? I'm gonna commit this. And uh, the joke is that it's not even that committal. And uh, oh, <laughs> 13 points ahead. That's what I like. That's what daddy likes. Why do I always get into, like, trash talk mode against dwarves? I mean, it makes sense, because I hate them. And yesterday I was lucky. It didn't backfire. Today, who knows? I might have gotten cocky after the last match. Four per vision card, ladies and gentlemen. Four per vision card. Uh, he's gonna have to go down to three cards. That is irreparable. You can't pass and get that back. But if I pass, then I lose. Although I went really well last time. Although winning on even... Winning on even is the shit. Uh, I, I want that. Card's ability would not work. It has a melee ability. No, wait. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God it showed me that. The, that pop-up saved me. I was completely playing the wrong card. Whew. I love that pop-up, by the way. That's great design. Like, for, for new players, that pop-up could really <laughs> save you. And for me, who's been playing since close beta. Ha, <laughs> ha. But, uh, you know, the thing is, it's, it's not that I played the card wrong, it's that I played the wrong card. <laughs> bad ace, bad joke, bad move. Just quit, you dwarven frick. Just let it go. You don't have to do this. What are you accomplishing? Nothing! You know what? You... are gonna get it. Now back off. 
for the love of frick. No, yeah, just commit that too. I, I do not give a gosh darn frickin' ass. Yeah, that is fine. Do that. Do you see the points that I'm racking up here, my boy? See, I'm going to gain three points, and he's going to lose three more points. So I'm going to be at 57. He's going to be at 44. He's going to have to make up 14 points. You know what? Oh, wait. I'm actually going to gain another point. Yeah. <laughs> Dwarf players, please. Please. When you are the sole representation of the Scoia'tael faction, you don't do this kind of crap. It's, 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 it's not, it, okay, okay, because, because of the auto pass when you play the last card, okay. Dwarf players! I'm gonna censor this guy's name for the video so you, you guys won't be able to see what this guy's name was. But if you're watching this dude, I don't know. I, you know, I, I'm not, I don't wanna say mean things or anything, but. This was a very bad showing. Like, ah. Do I even need this anymore? I don't think I want this. Uh, we've got still a leader charge too, I think. Yeah, I, th I think so. I, we don't need that. <clears throat> really? Renew in dwarfs? That's not even funny. God, I I'm 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 being mean to this guy. I'm really sorry. If you are watching this, I'm sorry. I don't. I di I don't mean to to be such a dick. It's just. It's just you know. It's just. I mean, this is my best heat wave, so I'm not really gaining anything. I'd rather take these out as fast as possible. Losing some Garcane value by doing that now, but it's uh, it's gonna be alright. Alright, so I'm actually going to gain an extra Garcane value. That is fine. I'm just going to casually make a 16 point play. Don't mind if I do.
What's with the resurrect dwarfs? I gotta say, that was a closer ending than I I would have expected. It, is there still this issue with the rewards not being shown? Um, all right. I guess I'll just do the outro now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you hate dwarves, I guess this was a really fun video for you to watch. Uh, and again, to, to, to that last guy, did it freeze again? No, I was just standing still for very long. <laughs> to that last guy, I'm sorry for, for saying mean things. Like I, I understand maybe you just you just picked up the dwarf deck you still don't know how to play it you're still learning that's fine um i always struggle when i try new decks like it doesn't matter how good or overtuned the deck is i can easily lose with it for the first few games you know make mistakes and i, I really shouldn't take the shit out of someone who, who who does that I guess I should just be happy that you're not playing that shit in casual, ruining the casual experience for people. But man, I'm just... I'm just salty about the dwarves, man. It's, uh... I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't. So, I'm very sorry. But I feel like that clip, that match, turned out to be very funny. Uh, with my commentary and uh, you know I I can't just scrap good commentary so we're gonna show the game and I I hope you learned your lesson I, I hope you learned from your mistakes and you become a better quad player and you know if you really want to play dwarfs then I hope you became a better dwarf player as well you know we, we make mistakes I make tons of mistakes I, I've stopped showing them as much in videos because I just like like some misplays and losses are good to show because it's educational and it's like mistakes everybody makes but sometimes I do mess up really badly because I don't know how to play the deck yet and it just makes for a completely uninteresting match that obviously ends at a loss and that, that's why I don't show that anymore but uh, like if I do lose like games where my opponent just played insanely well or I made like one mistake or one wrong sequencing move that cost me the game and or if the game was just really close and really interesting like those are losses that I'll gladly show because that's good content but me messing up fundamentally because I don't even know how to play the deck and then you know you can see that I'm gonna lose from like the first few turns that's not good content anyway that, enough about that. I'm, I'm sorry for talking shit. Uh, my last opponent, if you're watching. Uh, and to the rest of you. Don't be like me. Don't talk shit like that. You know? Just be nice to each other. It's We're all trying to have fun with this game. Some people have fun by just winning. Ranking up. Other people have fun by... Uh, playing... Lower tier decks. Combo decks. Fun decks. I'm obviously talking about myself right now. And, uh, yeah, just, I mean, let me know down in the comments which which type of, uh, of fun haver you are. Do you have fun, the most fun when you just win? Do you have the most fun when you play fun decks, you don't care if you win? Or are you somewhere in the middle of the spectrum? Let me know, I'll be interested to see where people are on the spectrum of fun. Anyway, thanks again for watching, have a good one guys, and I will see you very soon. Bye.